I absolutely love the morning time when I set my diffuser to a lovely and warm scent and get to enjoy my coffee and spend a little quiet time in God's word and outside. It is just so beautiful and that is what I enjoy about being a homemaker, making my home a Christ-centered place that is relaxing, inviting, and a place that I enjoy as being a mom, wife, and homemaker. Homemaking looks different for each and every person. For me, in the summer, especially homemaking is a lot of outside time. I grow a lot of fresh produce and I just love incorporating that into my home. And um, one thing I'm gonna be sharing in this video is some tick tips and tricks of how I keep my home functioning and running really and dishes is one thing I do dishes after every meal I do have a dishwasher and sometimes we use them sometimes we don't but my little girl just plays in her drawer on the floor while I do that and um, I'm always doing laundry you guys know that if you follow me I always do a load or two a day I use cloth diapers so Navea my daughter and I are working on folding those and that's just something as well. You have to be okay with um, doing some tasks while your kids play or help you in their sense of helping. I've had to come to realize that I can't always be just giving her 100% attention. There are times when I do, that is for sure. But when I want to keep my house functioning, I have to take some time to do the daily tasks of keeping a home tidy so I just am doing that getting the laundry done and enjoying watching her play and all she really needs is just some time seeing mom present with her I also like to do a little dusting every day. We live close to a gravel road and trucks go on it quite often. So dust accumulates on surfaces. So I like to do about five, 10 minutes of that and it's not always perfect and dust is going to happen in houses. And that's the thing, you can't make your house perfect. You just, you have to make it functional for you but still looking presentable. Um, and I also wanted to mention, this is a collab with Hillary at Old World Home. I am so excited to be collabing with her. I'm sure many of you have already heard of her, but if you haven't, you need to go watch her. She has such a beautiful channel and an amazing spirit and heart, and I love her videos. She's got three kids. She does some day in the life. She is doing the same. Um, day in the life and how to make her home function as well so go check her out if you haven't i like to just use this little duster on ridges because i do have a few ridges in my home and it just makes it um, easier and quicker to do as well and like i said five ten minutes it gets pretty well clean and you know my daughter does pretty well playing by herself for the most part but then you just kind of give them some snuggles and some love because truly they do need to know that they are cared for. Here's probably my biggest tip that I would like you to take away from this video is to prioritize your time. It is my daughter's nap time, so I have a monitor outside, a baby monitor, and I'm getting some long clippings to put on one of my gardens as a weed barrier. And um, I just have to prioritize what I do while she's sleeping and what I do while she's awake. My husband was doing some house projects, so he wasn't around to watch her, but I think that's a really important thing is to learn what works when your kids are awake and when they are asleep, if they still nap. If not, I'm sorry, you'll have to kind of just learn to work with that. But I just learned that and I think that's the biggest thing that has really helped me be a better homemaker. Well, good morning. It is such a lovely day here. It's a little cooler. 
and the sun is not out but that just makes for a nice day to be outside and get some work done it is about 10 30 already and i'm excited for this day of homemaking um if you're joining me new from old world home i'm so glad you're here to join me on this day in the life this vlog it's a weekend day saturday so we are just getting some things done around here and just going to be enjoying the day and giving you a little inspiration uh, along the way with some tips and some hints of how I keep my home going and just how I make my home, make, make my house a home. So I'm glad you're here to join and subscribe if you haven't yet. If you're new, I'd love to have you do that. And go check out Old World Home if you have not seen hers before too. She is such a lovely lady. I love watching her channel. She is such an inspiration to me. Um, I'm gonna keep working here this morning while the little one's down and i just hope you do find encouragement throughout this day coming with me as i just take on the tasks of the day and um, remind myself that it is not mundane but it is something that needs to be done to keep a house running so i hope you enjoy and um let's see what else needs to be done out here i gotta plant a few more herbs and flowers in one of my extra gardens i have so I'm going to do that and then see how long little Nevaeh keeps sleeping. As I mentioned earlier, during the summer, well spring and summer, part of my homemaking is gardening and I planted this garden this year. It's got a lot of flowers and some produce and then I planted some new grass because our dog had rolled in it and so there was no grass there. But um, I wanted this garden to be something I could step outside our back door and have some beautiful flowers and some go-to vegetables like tomatoes and peppers and then I'm planting some herbs as well. And that's just something that I want and I'm hoping it will grow in the next several years to be full and filled in. And I just love gardening. If you're like me, I love getting my hands dirty and being outside as much as possible during this time of year. Are you enjoying the walk, Nevea? Yeah, it's so nice out, isn't it? We do live in town, but there's this little spot that's kind of on the outskirts of town that has these beautiful wildflowers, and I love picking them. I don't know if I should be, if they're on someone's property, but no one sent anything yet. So I always pick a few of these and then just put them in a beautiful picture when I get home. And I just, I love having flowers in my home all the time. And so that's another tip, bringing in fresh cut flowers or buying them at Aldi or Walmart or something like that just really beautifies a house and makes it more special and inviting and home-like. Well, it's been a little while since I have actually gotten on and shown you my face for a little while. Now that Nevaeh is down for her afternoon nap, hopefully she was struggling to fall asleep, I am going to work on supper here for a little bit. I have another tip here for you with food prepping. Always just have a meat thawed, something, a protein, something. Because um, I'm just going to use my Instant Pot, cook some chicken thighs. We have some... Um, 
fresh picked asparagus that some friends shared and then i'm just gonna do some sweet potatoes so super simple your meat your veggie your carb and voila it's done so i think i'm gonna get my chicken thawing more quickly i'm just gonna use instant pot like i said so i can cook it frozen um and just cook it in there so um yeah that's what we're gonna have for our supper and it is about two oh, 225 as you can see with our giant clock behind me pick-me-up with some Dalgona coffee. I jumped on the bandwagon and started making it and it is so good. Um, I don't usually buy almond milk but I wanted to for the purpose of this. I normally drink whole milk but actually I don't even like milk. I drink whole milk in my coffee sometimes but for this purpose I like almond milk so it's really good and it's super simple. So I do like to do my tasks that need to get done throughout the day instead of in the evening and leaving that until I'm really tired. Um, if some of you didn't know, I am a recent stay-at-home mom. I resigned from teaching after six years of teaching music, so now I'm home. So it is actually quite strange for me to be home during the middle of the day, but I am loving it and so grateful that um, my husband's job provides enough for us. Um, oh, hey, I am making some homemade cinnamon rolls, sourdough cinnamon rolls, actually. And um, they were a mess to try to mix with my hands, but oh boy, were they delicious. I plan to make some more this weekend, too, because we loved them so, so much. And that's one thing with homemaking. Um, hone in on one skill, and mine is right now cooking. I really love cooking. I've I'm decent at it, but I really want to improve, and I think it's good to have that skill. My dough is sitting there. It looks good. I tried it with my hands. Like um, The recipe was from Lisa's Farmhouse on Boone, and it did not work real well. It was really eggy mess, so I did use my KitchenAid mixer, which you probably didn't even know I had one because I leave it tucked away until I want to use it and I got it for 30 bucks at a garage sale. It's missing the top little portion there, but hey, it has all the different hooks and this is my first time making cinnamon rolls and I'm so excited. So I turned the oven on because it said it needed to be in a warm place for an hour. So it's 3.30 right now and Nevaeh is still sleeping. Normally she takes like a 45 minute um, afternoon nap, but she must be tired today. So, and then I have the chicken thawing still. I'll put a rub on it. And I prepped those vegetables, which you saw. Uh, my sweet potatoes I prepped just because it's so much easier to prep food while she's napping and stuck them in a Tupperware um, to pop out later for supper. So I took a little time today to wash my shower curtain and shower curtain liner. And I, I think it's important to do those at least a couple times a year. It had been getting pretty gringy and grimy. So I just was rehanging it and finding time to do that during um, Nevaeh's nap, which she ended up taking a super long nap and that was very helpful to get things done. So today, for most of the day, my husband's been over here at our little fixer-upper project oh. doing a few things for the plumber who will be coming <gasps> at the end of next week, right, hun? Yeah, Thursday or Friday. Yeah, so he's been working on that a little bit and some of our stair problems going to the basement. So he's been doing some house projects. But now we're going to go to the park. Push me. I can't really swing my legs. It's kind of difficult. I love having a little family time. Um, my husband is such a goof sometimes but all right I am rolling up my cinnamon rolls and I'm um, not doing a great job so that is again where I'm gonna try them again this weekend to improve on that all right so here's what we're having for supper what it turned out to be those are giant asparagus spears and then the chicken thigh and some sweet potatoes and 
Nevea wants more. She is loving it. So very simple meal, just having things ready and easy. Like I said, meat, vegetable, protein. It is time to clean up and tidy the kitchen. And I like to use a magic eraser on our farmhouse sink and even on the drain stopper. It gets it much cleaner and more white. Um, my husband usually helps with supper dishes, but he had to go do something at our church so he wasn't there to help tonight but that's okay Nevea was down for bed and so i just decided to clean up and um, also mop our floor i use a method squirt and mop and then a microfiber cloth on our swiffer and that seems to work pretty well because i just mainly do that in our kitchen and probably like two times a week sometimes i spot clean under Nevea's chair so um, yeah, I just like to have a tidy kitchen before bed so when I wake up in the morning it is nice and fresh. I hope you found encouragement by watching this video today and that you could take away a few tips and tricks to um, improve your homemaking skills because that is something that we can always continue to work on. All right, love you guys. Mm -hmm.